good. Yeah, we got to get involved. We have to get involved in this. Now, most people don't realize what really happened. Most people believe that Reverend Sam was beat up. And that's what most of y'all think. Yeah. But after the autopsy was done, come to find out that he was actually shot. But it was no entry. The bullet went in his mouth and was lodged in his brain. That's what happened. We cannot allow people to think that they can do that kind of stuff and live among them. It ain't going to happen. As long as we are wrapped in our body, we cannot allow that to happen. It was him last week. But it could be me tomorrow. It could be you tomorrow. We cannot allow this to happen. Can we stop it? Yeah. Are we serious about it? Are we fed up? Are we really gonna do our part? Yeah. We can't point fingers, y'all. We can't point fingers. Now, growing up, I always heard that it takes a village. In this situation, it takes a village as well. People want to run to the media talking about what they know, but they won't talk to the police department. People say, well, I don't want to be a snitch. This is not being a snitch. This is being a responsible citizen that live among us. Ain't no snitching about this. That no snitch culture got to stop. Right. This man lost his life, a God-fearing man. Right. We're supposed to preach that night. Yeah. We're supposed to preach the anniversary at St. John that Sunday. Right. God-fearing man. Yeah. And we all knew it. We all knew it. Just like so many Others. It keeps happening. We cannot continue to bury our family members out here. We cannot continue to move as if we are losing this battle. Because from the people I see, we're not losing the battle. For a while, I thought I was by myself with this. But now I look around, there's a whole lot of us that care about this. There's a whole lot of us out here that want to live in safe neighborhoods, in safe communities. I like to thank Reverend Carlton Wallace. I'm not sure where he is right now. But Carlton, over here, Carlton helped start the reward fund. Carlton is the co chair of the reward fund. You can go to any Commonwealth bank and just ask for the Reverend Sam Reward Fund. It's going to be one check written out of the account. The bank is going to write a check to the person that the police department and the district attorney's office declared to be the person with the information that leads to the conviction. It's going to be one check. Right now we have about $2,500. We want to raise $5,000. But we, I told somebody the other day, I said, you know what? We don't want to just raise $5,000. We want to raise enough money to make his mama turn him in. That's right. We want to raise enough money to make his family and his friends turn him in. We want to raise so much money that they feel like they can't go nowhere. But they paranoid. They looking every time. They need to be winning. They need to be worried that we are here and we're putting the reward on your head for what you did. We will not allow this to happen. And once we get this conviction, we're going to get some more. All right, come on. It's only to start, but we have to start somewhere. Once we get this one conviction, watch how they start rolling in. All right. Now, right now, at this very moment, it's a funeral going on right now for a 17 year old that attended Bible High School right now, Memorial Funeral Hall Right now. This is not 
just about Reverend Sam. This is about all of us. And it's time for it. Right now. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. My church members out here, they fed up. My pastor's right here. Fed up. My family, friends are here. Fed up. Y'all are here. We are fed up. The mayor's here. We fed up. The police chief's here. We fed up. The district attorney's office is here. We fed up. Our city council members are here. We fed up. The principals are here. We fed up. Our department bill is here. We fed up. All the citizens are here. And we are fed up.